Markets are moving under the influence of the fundamental background, but the technical analysis corrects these movements. Yesterday and today, investors followed the news from the United States. Tomorrow, the tension will likely shift to the economic reports from Europe and the Asia-Pacific region. And we will talk about these events in our video review. You are watching Traders Calendar for December 14th and 15th. The New Zealand authorities approved the scope of the central bank's focus in determining future monetary policy, limiting the assessment to inflation data. Meanwhile, the Reserve Bank of Australia will report on the country's labor market on Thursday. The expected rise in the unemployment rate and the slowdown in the growth rate of the number of employed may cast doubt on the Reserve Bank of Australia's ability to continue raising interest rates. As a result, the Australian dollar may plunge against the US dollar. The British pound and euro are likely to depreciate against the US dollar after the UK and European Central Bank will publish their decision on interest rates. The fresh macroeconomic reports point to an approaching recession or a sluggish stagnation in the best-case scenario. There are clear signals for the Bank of England to take action and support the national economy. Investors are confident that the UK monetary authorities will pick up the signal and make a rate cut sooner. In the Eurozone countries, the situation is similar. Traders, investors, as well as European businesses are waiting for a rate cut. Notably, Germany's ZEF economic sentiment index posted a sharp increase. If the European Central Bank does not announce monetary policy easing in the near future, it will be a hard punch for the economy. As a result, the EU economy will struggle to recover even more. At the end of the week, investors expect important reports from the United States. On a Thursday, markets will assess the retail sales report. According to forecast, the negative trend will continue in November during the period of sales and the Black Friday. Notably, consumption is a key sector in the United States, as more than two-thirds of the US GDP is generated by a consumer spending. If the forecast for the ongoing recession is confirmed, the US dollar may experience a sell-off. China is also trying to rebalance toward domestic consumption. Meanwhile, industrial production remains the key sector. In anticipation of a November report, analysts have suddenly become optimistic, forecasting a long-awaited acceleration in a China's industrial production growth rate to as much as 5.7% per year. Such a news will likely increase risk appetite. Moreover, the Australian dollar may strengthen as a barometer of a risk aversion in the Asia-Pacific region and as the currency of the country that supplies commodities to the Chinese industry. On a Friday, market economics will publish preliminary manufacturing PMI in the world's major economies. And the main driver of the European economy, Germany, deserves special attention. In a particular, companies are hoping for an interest rate cut. Meanwhile, the country's economy is experiencing a downturn. Uh, in uh, extremely unfavorable conditions, the media reported that uh, even steel companies could not withstand the crisis and were relocating to the United States, where commodity prices remained much lower. At the same time, the PMI indexes uh, um, showed that the prospects for the U.S. economy to develop and recover are much more real realistic than in the European Union. We will monitor the market reaction to the above-mentioned reports. Subscribe to our channel and follow changes in market sentiment with us. Any comments, questions and offers are welcomed. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon!